The Brand Story Media recently organized the Indian Brand and Leadership Conclave 2022 on the theme of Embracing the Change, the New Normal. The conclave was marked with insightful keynotes delivered by nationally renowned personalities including Sri Fagan Singh Kolaste, Sri Kabir Bedi, Sri Vineet Goenka, Sri Samip Shastri and Lakshmi Narayan Tripathi. The conclave saw power-packed panel discussions on Atma Nirbhar Bharat and Data is the New Oil and celebration of Indian brands and leaders with an award ceremony that honoured brands and leaders under various categories. Welcome and thank you for joining us in the latest episode of Indian Brand and Leadership Conclave. Our first panel for the day, we delve into the central theme of the conclave, which is, of course, embracing change, the new normal. So very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, let's begin with the panel discussion. We have total in three panel discussions, which will be uh, having questions coming from the organizers and also the, the, the latest, hottest topic, which is there. That is how to embrace the new normal. Embracing the change, the new normal, is a topic for the panel discussion to all my panel members. So I welcome you all for this panel discussion organized by the Brand Story. And uh, I welcome all the speakers here for this wonderful panel discussion. So for past three years, we all have witnessed unforeseen economic, political and health related events with irreversible global impact. The 700 plus days of pandemic political and economic turmoil in the neighboring countries, rising prices of the resources. So every day we go, we find a different price. We set our wallet for the day, but we see the wallet falls short because of the changing prices, right? So the economical turmoil and the new global power structure have transformed the global economic landscape of the world. With repercussions for companies, and consumers, countries, industries and companies had to relearn and they are still learning how to revive economies, streamline operations and earn profits in the changing global scenario. The one who will embrace the change and welcome the new normal will be able to survive and accept the change with open arms. The question that still lingers in our mind is, in the power corridors, are we ready for the embracing the change and welcome the new normal and what is the way forward is what the whole panel discussion today is all about. So my question to all my panel members are, what is the biggest challenge you and your organizations Faced during the past three years with respect to the change market dynamics especially while serving and retaining the customers you know it's very challenging to retain your customers it is a, it is a very volatile market right helping your employees social good and managing the bottom line so I want to ask this question to all the panel members how have you handled this challenge in last three years? So I would like to start with Vinkish Gulati, sir, because he belongs to automobile industry. Thank you, Abhay. Thank you, ma'am, for having me again in this show, in this uh, conclave. See, for us, uh, three years have had two types of turmoils. Obviously, COVID was a turmoil for uh, the overall industry. Every person in the world went through that. But in automobile, we had another type of turmoil even before the COVID came in, uh, which started with a pollution norms change, which happened uh, in March 2020. And being a dealer body, uh, there was a lot of is issues with the dealers, which was happening. The COVID lockdown entered around 22nd or 23rd March. And that was at the cusp of the festival or you can say the Noratra season where the automobile or every customer wants to buy a vehicle during that time because those are auspicious occasion. And because those are auspicious occasion, we expect selling more, we keep more stocks 
and we were in a situation where 31st March was the last date of all the BS4 vehicles to be registered and the lockdown started which a very muted thing like it was voluntary for a day or two we thought okay a day or two is not an issue but the third day we'll start selling and then we went into a compulsory lockdown and that too very very strict so finally our association had to go to supreme court to get that order and i'm lucky enough that even with lockdowns the supreme court was working virtually and on 27th march we got a not 100 percent relief but 80 percent relief from supreme court uh, giving the cases because of lockdown we couldn't sell the delivery didn't happen and search is here me and search for and the supreme court gave a direction by 10th or 15th of april you have to give the data of all the vehicles which are with dealers or customers which are not registered and that meant around 15 lakh vehicle data to be collected from 26,500 dealers in India which were actually in lockdown and the dealerships were closed so but uh, hats off to secretary team search and everybody and all the dealers all the office bearers we worked overnight and got it through so that was the first when even before COVID, we went through and I feel no doubt COVID was a very, very big challenge from the fatality point, from the job losses, from, but that war what FADA, the association won was the survivability part because 12 lakh, 15 lakh vehicle means some, I cannot imagine how many zeros would the dealers would have lost because of that. So. Even before fighting for COVID, we were fighting for something else and the resilience which we showed during that helped us in COVID also. The COVID fight had been similar for everybody, uh, handling your manpower, their family members, your own family members and the distress level which happened. But uh, as an association and as our uh, executive council members, superiors, everybody supported and even with the ma'am said the COVID is again, but I feel now we are all uh, well versed with how to live with COVID and used to enjoy. <laughs> Not used to it. Let's enjoy. Yes, this is right. the life. Thank you. So my again question, same question to Mr. Rajiv, Mr. Treating Director, Axel Medite. How did you handle circumstances around those period? And you belong to the medical field, which was the topmost in demand. I mean, the thriving field it was. So how did you manage your resources and the circumstances around you? Paul, good morning for having me here and thanks a lot for this opportunity being given to me to speak about uh, this, the toughest situation ever we have passed through. Uh, of course, we had multiple challenges. As uh, Mr. Minkesh said, every industry had its own challenges. Now, we were into healthcare industry, so we had an ongoing greenfield project uh, which was just started and then it got stuck in terms of uh, nothing happening. The overall construction work stalled. First, as rightly, I assume the same thing as you said, the lockdown would be about a week or so and we were expecting that April first week we would be able to start off. And that's how we started uh, connecting with our employees internally. The, but come 1st April and then we realized, oh, this is not going to end soon. So we, there was a first thing was uncertainty that started building up post first week of April. And we were not too sure like how long this is going to last. And then we realized that now it's time to connect with our core team members, the employees, and first of all, we should really have a one-to-one -one connect through Zoom calls or whatever to make sure that their mindset is positive. I was personally involved into uh, connected with all my key employees, asking about their family health and well-being in terms of, you know, keeping their morals high. But still, you know, the risk and uh, which was very much seen that as a business, not only being into the medical field, we understood that this was a field where we need to be active, but there were so many challenges in terms of logistics, supply chains, handling our dealers, distributors, 
the manufacturer manufacturing completely stopped and we being a high labor industry had multiple challenges because the production was completely stalled but definitely you know the strength comes from inside and we realized that how we can take it forward how we can you know leverage from the challenges what we have and as a result we you know thought of getting into the mask which was a dire need that time and we launched a, a product called flamingo flamy mask which we ensured that we should price it right because during the initial phase you you all are aware that what was the prices of mask we all must have paid and believe me we priced our products so economically that today also our mask is so popular and it sells very well even during the multiple waves and even now we have restarted the production of mask because it was rightly priced and we are as a company never believed in you know and cashing from those kind of opportunities which are not i mean i would not say as an opportunity it's more of you know fleecing people looting people so the price of three pieces of mask was 165 rupees which is a reusable washable mask and today also we are selling masks right. so this is something which we have learned so from cool. those challenges and we as a company having the philosophy being into this medical field that we should do good for the society and that's what the legacy is still on and we realized that and that became an opportunity that helped us to not only manage the top line but bottom line as well so this is the way we have i mean taken it positively and helped the society as well very nice so i think right thinking ethical thinking and uh, presenting things in the right way to the society and it looks like a, it was quite a good sustainable goal for you because you are still able to uh, do very well in the market and your product is in demand so i would like to congratulate you for that wonderful thinking i remember when those days in covid times initially i mean people were going bizarre they were charging 500 rupees per mask 400 rupees per mask it was a black market actually going on so i really that's a very nice thing what your company has done so thank you sir for that wonderful uh, insight what you gave about your company ribu choudhary madam sorry <laughs> head communications and brand csr so how did you as a brand ambassador and as a csr head uh, look forward the challenges which happened during the covid time and what are the changes you adopted as an organization shifted the way we work um so i come from an industry which is a, a travel technology organization and if you looked at the entire two and a half years of pandemic we were the badly hit organization because there was no travel that was happening we it road airways or um, hotels everything was and literally a full stop so we were like badly hit we had to look at how do we keep our employees motivated and engaged to be able to you know get across this entire two and a half years so there were multiple things that we really looked at one uh, engaging employees from a grassroots level starting with our leadership team engaging with each of the employees to understand what the pulse was looking at um, what is it that we want to do when it comes to a thing like covid for example trying to work with different embassies the french embassy we work very closely with because we are headquartered in both france and in spain uh, we we looked at getting concentrators from france because we were running a low on oxygen concentrators here so we put that as part of our csr initiative as well and looked at about 500 concentrators being imported here we looked at working with the frontline workers here there were multiple ways of donating that we did from our employees just not as an organization but our employees came to the tune of almost 33 lakhs that they donated for uh, something like covid so there were multiple things that we put together and i think um, we also started something like a covid warrior within the organization so if there was somebody who was looking for a hospital uh, there was a team that was working closely with that person and trying to see which is a hospital which is available where are beds available so there were multiple things we really came together and organ- as an organization to get this whole thing going superb so that was ribu choudhary madam head communications and brand ambidus labs thank you ma'am for that insight Now I'll come back to the gorgeous lady sitting here Shibani. 
So Shibani, uh, you are in the field of music. So how it was like being at home and not performing, not going to the stage. I mean, without your audience, your fan following. So how was the feeling, and how did you cope up with the situation? Uh, thank you, Nivedita, for inviting me here, and for the second time, in fact. Yes, yes. It is wonderful to be back here. Thank you, Abhay. Uh, so, well, I just want to tell you that you know, uh, you know on the twentieth of March, uh, twenty twenty, I had a concert in Delhi, and little did I know that you know, three four days later, there's going to be a lockdown, which is going to be. It, it just didn't seem real. It was happening in Italy. It was happening everywhere else. But you, but one felt that no, yeah, India may not be able to. India is too rare to go. We are all such action-packed people. Yeah, not possible. You know, we were always in denial. And then, then when it happened, we were like, must it'll be for a week? It'll it's a passing phase. Aage chale jayega. How can because we were actually all set for concerts, forthcoming concerts, and that's what our life is all about: going to recording studios, recording new songs, shooting videos, going to different places and performing. Suddenly, there was a lull, and life just came to a standstill. and it was a bad standstill because you know uh, as we all know that entertainment and as ribu just said that travel tourism and entertainment i think these are the the most relegated in, into the background kind of a, you know industries whenever it comes to these kind of situation that entertainment is lowest pri- priority so we were just literally you know we didn't know what to do it was it was a big question mark because how will we perform how will we also it's it's like a chain you know uh, there's me then there are my musicians who come on stage with us, uh, you know we they get their payments through us then there is the event companies and there are the stage makers there are the people who do sound there's a whole team involved in doing an event it's not just the artist so everything and everybody came to a standstill there was nothing happening in in, in that field at all so of course for a few weeks there was sadness there was despair there was a lot of confusion we didn't know what to do then the then the live instagram live facebook things started happening we started entertaining people like that then the zoom things started happening the zoom platforms started happening and then slowly and slowly uh, you know after weeks passed by you know people realize that they need interaction they need music they need singing they need to hear people uh, talk to each other even even if it's not physically like this So then, I think technology takes over, and all of us have to rise to the occasion. We have to, uh, you know, we all got digitally enhanced, I would say, and it was like a new chapter in our lives. So there's a new chapter in my life which opened because I, I don't, I never even knew how to really operate my device properly. My team would do it for me, but then I had to do everything hands-on myself. So self-reliance came into the picture. Then, you know, uh, empowering myself with technology and and digitization. So all these things, I think I went, I became like an, a student of di- of technology. I tried to learn, and then when I relearned all of this, we we set up studios at our home with green screens, and you know thanks to online purchasing. Now online purchasing is something that I think big hats off to. वो ना होता तो we wouldn't have survived. Online purchasing, the OTT networks, all those things have actually breathed new life into all our beings. So that's how it. We just kind of. resurfaced and we took on this challenge head on and we converted our performance into virtual shows so i can very proudly say that at b- between that 2020 to 2021 i did about 75 virtual concerts for oh, different so corporates for schools for colleges for uh, you know even for the ipl opening yes, ceremony yes. me and salman ali performed at the ipl cer- ceremony which is happening you know online only of course so we performed online so there's a lot which did happen uh so so at least you know this is what the this is how we embrace embrace the new normal and this is not going to go away so even if things are back to normal i i'm i've started doing my concerts lots of live concerts are happening but uh, i have to say that this is another way of entertainment now that the metaverse has started nfts have started so people will also resort to being conveniently at home and watching a concert the avatar of of me coming there and the avatar of the audience coming there so there's a lot which technology has developed in these two years in a whopping way so i think this could be a parallel way of entertainment also which we which will still continue okay. so that's what the this tough time has given to us something new like a new chapter which is open for all thank of us. you so much i think the hybrid is here to stay yeah, it just I feels like that. absolutely absolutely yeah. 
so thank you so much to all the panel members wonderful insights and it was right on to the point and we were able to get the right insight in short and you know uh, short sentences which will not also bore the audience but also audience will get the right message in the right format thank you so much for being wonderful uh, panel members and i would request you to kindly take your seats now thank you so much thank a big you. round of thank applause you. for our great panel members thank you sir thank you for watching today's episode of india's brand and leadership conclave we will be back with yet another episode of leading brands and leaders of the nation until then take care and stay tuned